Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1. Today we are back with the most satisfying Geometry Nodes series where we look at 10 amazing demos done in Geometry Nodes and Blender overall. And number one, we kick off with this amazing fur rug demo by Carl Deep Singh. He's using Geometry Nodes and curves to create the most realistic fur demo I have ever seen in Blender. The curves give the fur directional flow, like wind is blowing through them, or the effect you see when you move your hand through and move fur. This was nearly impossible to do in the old hair system, but Carl Deep makes us realize the power of the new hair system with his amazing demo. At number two, we have these particle collisions by Castasian Caramel. Castasian Caramel does not play around when it comes to geometry nodes, and he was definitely not playing around when he pulled off this particle self-collision demo. He's using his vast knowledge of geometry nodes to emit particles that avoid each other. I would really love to see the noodles behind this setup to dive in and explore. At number three, we have Joy Dosega joining our Blender Masters ranks with his SDF add-on or Assigned Distance Field add-on, which is a whole new way of modeling in Blender. I had to include this in, though it's not geometry nodes, because it introduces a whole new way of modeling in Blender. His add-on is still a work in progress, but if you are eager to jump into SDF modeling or Assigned Distance Field modeling, there are several standalone applications you can try out today. And number four, if you are running out of juice, let as usual is here to make sure you don't get dehydrated. Hopefully he won't be late as usual this time, but his juice in a glass geometry nodes demo is right on time for a well needed refreshment. I've seen several demos like this and some from Cinema 4D. It's just impressive what can be done with these applications nowadays. By the way, this is not a simulation. This is purely geometry nodes, no simulations required. <music> Number five, while on the topic of simulation, check out this add-on that fixes cloth simulations by converting the simulation into shape keys that you can edit and, and fix any cloth intersecting that is happening. It's already available and ready for production on the Blender market. At number six, we have a new hair demo. So much development goes on at Blender that it's easy to miss game-changing updates like this one. Daniel by instead is working on a demo file for the Blender Foundation that showcases the new hair nodes in 3.5. This demo is likely going to be available for free to download when 3.5 is released later next week. At number seven, we have the goat that was met with Blender, Houdini, and Red Hat in Redshift. Just look at how amazing this is. I wouldn't be able to tell that this was a 3D render if I didn't see the wireframe or the behind the scene for this model. It's just amazing. The animation is on point. The rendering is on point. The far detail is on point. The model itself was done in Blender. The far might have been done using Houdini because it's very good at that and the rendering was done in Redshift. At number 8 we have Shushi made with geometry nodes. The recipe is simple, a lot of nodes, sprinkle some shaders on top, let it simmer for 2 minutes in cycles and Shushi is ready. This was rendered in cycles but it can work in Eevee as well. <music> Number nine, we have a fluid simulation demo by Sabrina Garcia. I'm not sure what is most impressive about Sabrina Garcia's Bloodborne fan art. It's hard to pick one specific thing to talk about. Everything about this render looks great. The blood simulation, the stains on the bottle, the lighting, her glass shader, and the texturing. I can go on and on, but I will let you do that for me. After looking at this amazing render, I knew she must have some other satisfying renders on her page. So I stalked her Twitter page to find this amazing cockpit render. Just look at how much that detail is and that the CTR display is fully animated using Blender Geometry Nodes. It's just amazing. She also has this mechanical rig that was animated and textured. And uh, my favorite one is this showcase of a lamp that uh, she textured in Substance Painter and modeled in Blender. At number 10, we have a forest path. This render of a procedural forest system by Michelle Craft is a combination of a lot of things I cannot list here, but I recommend to check out his street thread to dive into the tutorials he watched to pull this off. 
Thank you for watching. Those are some amazing Dimitri Nodes demos that I managed to find this week. Let's do this next time. And lastly, if you're a YouTube member of my channel, don't forget to check out the community tab for my latest uploads or projects or project files are like this starter pack bridge all my projects all my add-ons like the asset library and everything else if you have any projects of mine that you want to access just let me know via message just maybe comment on any of the posts and i'll, I'll try to get the project files for you but thank you